a resemblance of spirit. We know that God is spirit, and he will be worshipped in spirit and in truth. He is not swayed by physical, earthly, temporary temptations. You are made three in one, with a spirit, a soul, and a body. Those components of you desire different things, must be placed in the appropriate hierarchy, or weaker parts of you will dominate. A wise old man once said, that if you have a good dog and a bad dog, you won't get anywhere by beating the bad dog. What you do is you feed the good dog. And it gets stronger, it gets healthier. And eventually it is the one that's making the decisions. The bad dog, I mean, in this story, dies, but your weaknesses don't go anywhere until you are resurrected, until you are made new. Your flesh wants physical things like an animal does. It wants to mate, it wants to eat, it wants to sleep, it wants to fight, it wants to acquire things and hoard them. Your soul wants to be right, wants to have thoughts, wants to think, and wants to be right. Your emotions want to guide you with your own desires and your will. All these things can be changed um, through the intervention of God to better things, to redeem things. I don't want to get ahead of myself. The spirit is the part of you that wants to please God. And ideally you place the soul in subjection to the spirit, the body in subjection to the soul, so that what happens is the spirit steers and the soul gets in line and the flesh gets under control at least disciplined not perfect not without imperfect desire but under control like a horse with a bridle like a mule with a yoke attached to it um, it does not want its desires, it is being constrained by the will of the farmer. In this case, the farmer is your spirit. So there is a part of you that wants to please God. There is a part of you that wants to hear God. There is a part of you that wants to commune with God. Now that may be very, very weak, may be very, very strong. It is harder to see. We can see the flesh, and we can see the soul manifest in people's words and actions much more. But you have been given an antennae whose only desire is to seek out the signal being transmitted by the Spirit of God. And that thing makes you resemble God. That thing is part of what makes you made in the image of God. If I have blessed you, encouraged you, or equipped you in any fashion, please bless me by liking and subscribing, and Merry, 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 Merry Christmas. Quickly, what does Christmas mean? Christ's Mass. In this case, Latin here, Mass is the same as mission. It is a celebration and a reminder of the mission he came to do and came to give to us to continue. So, yes, gifts, cookies, fireplaces, carols. But I believe in better in the meaning of the word is You've not just been saved for yourself. 
you have been saved to continue my work upon this earth. Bless you.